Okay, so these are the notes on special segments and triangle centers. We've gone over mid-segment. Mid-segment, the definition, a segment that joins the midpoints of the two sides of a triangle. So if we had to make a mid-segment, now this isn't going to be perfect because we don't have actual rulers. If we said that this was the midpoint of that side, this was the midpoint of that side, and we connected those two midpoints, that would create a mid-segment. Okay, perpendicular bisector, a line segment or a ray that divides the segment into two, two parts to equal parts and is perpendicular to the segment. So, if I had this side here, and I divided it into two equal parts, now it does not necessarily have to go through the vertex of the other side. It just needs to divide one side into two equal parts and be perpendicular, 90 degrees. It does not have to go through the vertex. Angle bisector. A line segment or a ray that divides an angle into two equal parts. So you start at the vertex of one of the sides, draw a line that cuts the angle into two equal parts. A median, a, oh, right here, a segment that connects a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So let's start with B. Here's my vertex. Now I'm going to draw a line to the midpoint of AC. Let's say the midpoint is there. Two equal parts. So that is a median. Vertex to the middle of the other side. Median. Okay, altitude. A segment that connects a vertex of a triangle to the opposite side so that it is perpendicular to that side. So I'm going to start at B. I'm going to draw straight down so I get a line that is perpendicular. It doesn't cut the side in half, just perpendicular. That is the altitude. Altitude is also height. So this is the height of the triangle. Okay. So now we're going to take all of this that we learned. And if we complete three perpendicular bisectors or three angle bisectors in each triangle we create centers in the triangle so the first center that we're going to go over is the circumcenter the point at which three perpendicular bisectors this one intersect in a triangle So there's a picture here shows three perpendicular bisectors drawn where they all intersect is called the circumcenter that point okay now an end center the point at which three angle bisectors angles angle bisectors intersect in the triangle. So it's kind of hard to see, not a very good picture, but these are all angle bisectors drawn out and where they meet is called the end center. Okay, centroid, the point at which three medians intersect in the triangle. So remember, medium is vertex to the midpoint on the other side. Vertex to the midpoint on the other side vertex to the midpoint on the other side. Where they all intersect is called the centroid. Last one, you can probably guess which one it is. The point at which three altitudes
intersect in a triangle. Sorry about that. Medians, altitudes. So remember, an altitude is vertex to perpendicular on the other side. So this drawing's not that good. Vertex to perpendicular on the other side. Vertex perpendicular on the other side. Where all three of those meet is called the orthocenter. Sorry about missing that. So you copied that. So that is a centroid where the three medians meet. So a median, like we have up here in the notes, is vertex to the midpoint of the other side, middle, median, middle. So these two sides are equal length, two segments. In the middle of that's the midpoint. So midpoint to opposite vertex. Where you do that three times on the triangle, where they all meet, is called the centroid.